Hey guys, it's GS Luke bringing you my daily NBA video for tonight for May 12th, 2021. This is going to be a quick video covering my top three value plays for tonight before the news breaks. Uh, this is going to be some of the injury situations to look out for, some of the value that will help you open up, um, some room for some of those studs later on tonight. Coming in at number three is going to be Payne Pritchard, a point guard for the Boston Celtics, coming in at just $3,100, $100 more than the minimum price on DraftKings. Now, the reason why I like Pritchard this week is, first of all, Jalen Brown is most likely going to be sidelined for at least a few more games with his broken finger, but Kemba Walker has also been very, very much overused the last two games. He went out for 40 minutes two games ago and 38 minutes last night. Um, they've had to lean on him with his scoring, uh, his assist upside and whatnot with Jalen Brown being out of the lineup. Um, but Kemba Walker isn't used to playing those type of minutes. Um, he was being capped at around 30, 31 minutes for most of the year, um, given he was coming back from a pretty traumatic injury. And uh, I don't expect him to come out and play close to 40 minutes again tonight. We saw Prane Pritchard play 14 minutes last night, even with Kemba Walker getting pretty much all the load last night. Um, and if Kemba's only going to play 30 minutes tonight, that means Payne Pritchard is going to see closer to 23, 24 minutes. Um, with that kind of workload, uh, he could very easily be one of the best value plays of the night, um, given that his price is pretty much minimum price. Um, and he is a player that scores at a 0.77 fantasy point per minute basis. He's been productive. He isn't reliant on shooting either. Uh, it's the games where he gets hot shooting, where he gets some extra run, and he ends up putting up those ceiling performances. Um, and that's the kind of player I like to target when it comes to value. Somebody that has a relatively high floor, um, isn't depending on shooting, but if they do get hot, it really will pay off. So that's why he comes in at number three. Our second value play for tonight is a little bit more sneaky, and that is Chandler Hutchinson. He is a small forward for the Washington Wizards, coming in at just $100 more at $3,200. Hutchinson was sidelined with an injury for a few weeks. Um, he's played three games since coming back from injury, and has seen his minutes climb in each game pretty drastically. His first game back, he only saw 13 minutes, he saw 18 minutes, and then last game out, he saw 25 minutes. Um, that's the kind of trajectory you like to see with a player. Um, clearly, the Wizards think that Hutchinson has a lot of potential. Um, they've been giving him a lot of playing time, a lot of usage, uh, I think, to, to see what they have in him. He's a young player, somebody that they acquired in a trade, um, and somebody that they're either going to likely unload this offseason or somebody that they're likely to keep as a foundational piece. Um, so they're going to give him the playing time. They're going to give him all the usage that he needs. And uh, tonight I have him projected at just 24 minutes. Again, that's less than what we saw him um, last night out. I actually expect him to see closer to 27, 28 minutes. But given his uh, fantasy point production, he could see well over 20 points at that kind of minute mark. Uh, again, he has the potential to see even more minutes, even more um, production. So he's an absolute smash play for me tonight. Um, the thing that's the kicker of all is that he's a small forward. Uh, it's a, you know usually a position that we don't have much value at. And the matchup against the Atlanta Hawks is a soft matchup as well. So that's why he's at number two. And my number one value play for tonight is not dependent on injury. It'll just get a little bit more sweet if Kyrie Irving ends up sitting tonight. And that is Bruce Brown Jr., a small forward for the Brooklyn Nets, coming in a little bit more expensive at $3,900, but he absolutely blows the other two value plays out of the park. Again, I said this play is not dependent on injury, and that's because we saw Kyrie Irving get elbowed in the face last night. Um, horrible thing to see. Um, it pretty much happens in all sports, but it's very unlikely that he's coming back um, in the next day or two. Uh, they're going to have to put stitches in. It's going to be very risky for him to play with those stitches in, especially um, on the face. If it was somewhere else on the body, we'd likely see him out there. Uh, but if he sits, Bruce Brown is an absolute smash play tonight. Um, even if he doesn't sit because James Harden's out, we're going to see Bruce Brown start. He sees a 10% usage jump when James Harden out. But the thing that's great about um, with Kyrie Irving being out is that he sees another 15% usage jump. So truth be told, he ends up around a 33% usage rate. Number two on the team um, behind Kyrie, uh, sorry, not Kyrie, Kevin Durant. And again, he, he would just be an absolute smash play at $3,900. We, uh, we would have him projected for a rate about 33 minutes. 30 fantasy points and again that's 8x 9x value um, and he has the potential to go for even more than that um, just last night we saw him score 15 actual points over 11 rebounds he had some assists and steals to boot um, tonight he's going to have even more playing time even more usage if irving does sit again 
and uh, that's why he's my smash play. And uh, something I also did want to mention about Bruce Brown is that he overtook the point guard role last night um, when Kyrie Irving went down. Uh, they don't. They they had a uh, Mike. I forget the guy's last name. Uh, so they they do have a backup point guard on the Nets. He's a very young, very raw player that they're they're not comfortable running out for twenty five minutes or anything like that. Um, so Bruce Brown did take over the point guard role, um, especially in closing time and whatnot. Um, so that's definitely valuable as well. So those are my top three value plays, guys. Um, let me know in the comments who your favorite value play is for tonight. Um, maybe it's someone I mentioned. Uh, maybe it's somebody I haven't thought of yet. So uh, let me know in the comments. Um, as always, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this content. It helps me out. And make sure that you guys can see it um, when I post it in the future. And uh, with that being said, good luck. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.